Good morning, everyone. I just finished breakfast, which was eh, again, I got that watery rice pool and a couple side dishes as well as fish and Something tasted kind of like miso or something, so I just mixed the fish and miso in with some rice gruel. It made it tolerable, and the miso soup was good. Although the vegetables were undercooked, which was on purpose, I'm sure, and the milk, of course, was delicious. <sighs> I'm feeling out of full now, but um, I pretty much drank breakfast. It was so liquidy. I would prefer Cheerios which still has a lot of liquid. Today, I am probably going over to Yume Town. The thing is, it's raining and I don't have an umbrella, but I am going anyway, but that's not until after lunch. So, I really probably have nothing to say until then. And now lunch is done and it was good. Well, okay, the soba, I think it was soba, no, soba, it was soba. Soba noodles were plain, soba noodles, nothing fantastic, but there were real pieces of meat in there, and that egg, that fry was so good, and the salad was wonderful, and I had this like yogurt kind of yogurt cup thing for dessert. And, uh, it's the little things that make you happy when you went for that long without eating. <laughs> I'm amazed how happy I am about that food. It tasted so good. Hunger is the best sauce, but several days of not eating, is a pretty good second best. <laughs> this afternoon, I'm going to Yume Town, even though it's raining. <coughs> I'll have more to talk about that. I'm out, but not released. I'm not. I'm not uh, discharged from hospital. I'm just out. But yeah, outside. I still got my my uh, admission wristband and everything. I'm just getting to take a walk. And everyone was worried. Do you have an umbrella? Because no, I didn't have an umbrella. So the, the doctor, actually, really nice guy. I mean, he ran to his car and got one of the four umbrellas he has stashed there, brings it back and says, you keep it until like Monday or something, or whatever, however long you need it. And so, really nice guy. So uh, I'm not getting as wet. I just thought, screw it, it's not raining hard, I'll just walk, I don't care. But everyone else cared more than I did. So, just had, it's a little loud here, isn't it, with the cars. Anyway, just had my, only my second shower since I got here. For the first like four days, I had the IV in and, couldn't get into my shower that I had in the private room, so I didn't get to use it until the very last day I was in there. And that's when I realized I'd forgotten to bring shampoo or body wash or soap or anything, and so I washed up completely with the, uh, the hospital's hand soap. It doesn't feel clean enough. I would have had one yesterday, but I was busy moving rooms and no one told me where the shower was and the limited time only that you can actually get into the shower, which is like, um, yeah, down on the second floor, and only from 12.30 to 3.30. So today I made sure to go quickly, and you know, it was like, it's like, I was expecting shower stalls. It's like a nice little onsen. They got a really nice bath set up in there. And I mean, nicer than some onsen I've been to. I was quite happy. Well, I better walk faster. There's a bus coming behind me. I don't want to get run over by the big yellow bus. Why is he still waiting? I'm across. Must be rules or something. Safety, there he is. So it must be safety rules or something, because I was well out of his way, but he still didn't turn. So I'm going to Yume Town. Oh, one thing I found out. Apparently, I'm not supposed to have Wi-Fi access now. It's only for people in the private rooms because you're spending more on private rooms, so that's one of the little perks about being in the uh, private room. But since I was in there and got the Wi-Fi password and still have it, I'm still accessing Wi-Fi, and one there said, shh, you're not supposed to have it, but just don't tell anybody because you already accessed it once, so whatever. Uh, I felt kind of bad about one of the other guys in, in my room there. He's asking, he's like, oh, can you, you were in the, in the room there, can you, can you still access Wi-Fi? And I mean, you still access it, he sounded kind of bored without it, and I thought, I can't give out the password, I feel so bad about this, but I really, I want to tell, him, tell it to him, but I really can't. And so I just pointed my phone and said, well, when I really want to access the internet, I can use Hotspot. So I lied to him, and I feel bad about that. And I'm safe saying it because he won't understand this because he'll never see it anyway. So I really don't have any particular reason to come to Yume Town. I'm not planning to buy anything in particular. I just wanted to get out of the hospital because I've been in there, what, Monday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, today, Saturday, right? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, five and a half days without leaving him once. So it's nice to get out. And I haven't been moving that much in those five days. I wonder how tired I'm gonna get. We'll see. I want a donut, can't buy one though. Not till tomorrow. Just to prove that, yes, I actually am in Yume Town and I just got hit by the head by something. That was on purpose. Uh, a place that normally, I've come to so many times that normally I'm bored by it. I'm incredibly happy to be here. I gotta be smile on my face. I just, it's nice for a change of scenery. 
I'm in Toys R Us. All these Lego sets, they say like 5 to 12 or 6 to 12. Bullshit. They're 5 to dead. I never want to stop making Lego sets. I found more poop books. <laughs> I think I'm done. I've been walking around in the town for a little under an hour and a half and I really don't have the stamina that I should normally have because I've been lying in bed for five days, basically. So I'm gonna go back. My knee's hurting a little bit too. I mean, I didn't buy anything. I just came and walked around. What else is there to do? Uh, oh, put the umbrella open. That's one thing to do. There we go. I love automatic umbrellas. There's a, there's a movie theater over there I could go to, but that's more walking. I'll save that for another outing. For now, it's back to the hotel. Hospital. Actually, that was on purpose, but the other day, yesterday, I called it a hotel by accident. It's the HO. They both begin with HO. And of course, now the now requisite after supper report. It was good, actually it was a meal of surprises. Uh, unfortunately I still have watery rice, but it's much less watery. The biggest surprise was that I didn't hate the fish. It was really good. And I don't usually like, like grilled fish. Side dish with uh, lots of daikon and stuff, that was really good too. The potatoes, oh my god, the potato and bacon salad thing was fantastic. The big surprise is that I hated the cauliflower and I like cauliflower. Flour, excuse me, it had something on it, some sauce on it that made it taste terrible. And uh, the, the mousse, uh, kind of a, I think a, a brown, no, black sesame mousse for dessert. It's quite nice. Now, I don't know what the hell's been going on with my phone today. I, I suspect it's the data corruption being caused by the data card, the SD card. So I've cleared some space on the internal memory and I'm storing the video on the internal memory and hopefully this fixes it. I really hope. Not much else has really happened today. I just thought I'd put a little ending to the video. I should find a place where I'm better lit. And um, I just was actually sitting here about 10, 15 minutes chatting to one of my uh, roommates. He was down here watching, uh, watching the TV, watching some uh, 100 meter race. It was fun to chat with him. Uh, just to finish off, I thought I would uh, just like to say thank you to everyone who, who have left such really kind comments about my pictures that I showed you in the previous video, uh, or was it two videos ago? I already can't remember. No, it was two videos ago, yeah. Really, I'm amazed how much everyone likes them, seriously. I, I, I keep saying my pictures because I don't know, I, I can't call it, I can't say my art, it feels too pretentious to me. I can't do it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, when I get home, my scanner's not big enough, but I will try and take some nice pictures and I'll probably put them up on my DeviantArt page which I really haven't touched in ages and the old stuff sucks. And uh, then I'll put a link somewhere, maybe I'll like, like tweet it or something and you can go take a, a higher quality look than the blurry in motion look you got on my video. So again, thank you everybody, you're too kind. And I'm still drawing, I'm, I'm still making more while I'm here and I don't know if I'll finish my next one while I'm here, but that would be nice. If I do, I'll just show you quickly. It's the one that, the last one I showed in the big book that's not finished. It's slightly more finished, but nowhere near finished. Anyway, that's all for tonight. Good night.